Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new video and today I'm going to be showing you how to get Halo SPV3 on your PC for free. This is the easiest way to install SPV3 and I promise this will work for everybody. Promises for crackers, my daughter would be fat. <laughs> so let's begin. First of all, download the game, link in the description. There are four parts, download all of them. Now put those four parts in the same folder. Now we can easily extract it. You'll get a one single ISO file after the extraction. Now mount that ISO file on Windows 10, just double click to mount it. But on lower Windows versions, you can have to use a tool such as Power ISO. This is how we do it with Power ISO. Now right click the file, go to Power ISO and then set number of drives. Select one drive and again right click on the file, go to Power ISO and here you can see an option called mount. Just click it and that will do it. Now go to the mounted drive Open up setup Now install it just like you install a normal game Click next Select the path and uncheck this and finally click install this should take around 2 minutes and done Now you will get a list of icons or just go to the location where you install the game. Open up the game to test it. And it looks like working. Even the main menu looks different from the classic Halo look. Now go to campaign. SPV3 campaign is located inside CMT projects. Now go to single player. And you can see there are a bunch of missions over here. Let's just try one. And what now? Nothing is happening, it just doesn't load up. So how to fix this? Easy. Just follow me. Now take a look at this. And it says requires OS. What's OS? OS means open source, not operating system. So the solution is to install open source. Now close the game. Go to the game's location and there's a folder called Redist. Just go inside and then go to recommended and you can see the setup file of open source. Just install. Click next. Here you don't want to change anything, but if you select this, it shows you the location of your game. 
you have to select the correct location but this usually detects the game automatically so you can just click next and install And that's it. Let's try the game. And this time your loading screen is actually stuck. You can move your cursor around. And that means it's working. And there we go. There's so many, I can't track them all. So that's it for today's video, thank you guys so much for watching and if you like the video give me a thumbs up, leave a comment and if you wanna see more from me make sure to subscribe and turn notifications on. I love you guys and I'm gonna see you in the next video.